Mystic Seaport is gearing up now, making its final preparations for its two-month voyage on the restored Charles W. Morgan. Well, News 8's Tina Detail caught up with the captain today. For the first time in more than 90 years, the Charles W. Morgan will be setting sail this weekend. Final touches. The eye bolts are being made. And final details overseen by ship captain Richard Kip Files. People always ask, why do you steer from, why, why isn't the steering station up forward? Well, that's, this is because this is where the rudder is. Not many people can sail a square rigger, but Files may be just the man for this historic job. He has his own 132-foot, three-mast schooner in Rockland, Maine. Is that thing going to be right in the head path? No question. Yeah. Still, this is an 1841 whaling ship. This is pretty archaic because it's rope steering. When the Morgan first sailed, a single voyage could take three to four years. This three-month voyage will hit several New England ports, starting in New London, the whaling city. Of all the people in the world, a kid that grew up in Bangor, Maine, you know, and now I get to sail one of the most, one of the most historic events of my lifetime. And so it's just a real privilege. I mean, it's an honor. A five-year restoration allowing for the last wooden whaling ship to sail again. It can be a connection back to someone's past. You know, my great-grandfather sailed on a whaling ship or sailed on a square rigger, and there it is. While they do want to make it clear there is no engine on this ship, there are some modern additions like bilge pumps, a navigation system, and even an alarm system, and, of course, the electricity to run it all. In Mystic, Tina Detail, News 8.